Well, YouTubers, it's that time of year again. Beat time. Right now, I got a basket just like this one. In that pot. Boiling. It just came to boil a few minutes ago. So I'll let it boil for a little while. I'm not going to pickle them this year. I'm gonna, at least this, this batch. I'm just going to can them so we could do uh, butter beets, you know, fry them in butter and a little salt and pepper. Uh, I've never canned them like this before. I've always pickled them. So I'm going to have to pressure can these. I'm going to boil them, skin them, and uh, get them ready today. And then tomorrow I'm going to cut them up and put them in jars and then pressure can them. Doing this part outside sure makes it a lot easier because you can boil a bigger batch. You don't have to be careful about making a mess. And you don't have all that heat in there in the house. So that's what we're doing today. Oh, and I got my, spin this around, got my chair there with a, a brewski ready. I'm going to sit down and have a, have a beer while they're boiling. Thanks for watching. Okay, here's where I'm at. Got the first pot all skinned and in the bucket there. I finished my first beer and I'm on my second beer. I'm on my second pot. I had to stop and reload the fire so it's going to be a little bit before it's done. I forgot to show you my bucket. Before we'd always try to scoop the beets out of the out of that uh, pot, and it took forever and it was kind of hard to do. Let me turn this around. So this morning I took a five-gallon bucket and drilled four pretty good-sized holes in it, and I just take that pot out of there pour it in here, the water drains out of it. I have to restart with a new batch of water, but it's clean water anyway. I mean, usually the water gets pretty nasty after you do about three or four pots of it, so I think it's better just to start with a new pot of water anyway. And it speeds up this. You pour, I dump them in here and then I start running cold water on them. Once I get them uh, cooled down a good bit, I dumped them in a five gallon bucket, just filled it up with cold water while I was uh, let soak while I was filling this pot up and getting the wood ready or reloaded and then once it was all ready going the next batch I sat down here in my chair and uh, drank a beer and skinned some beets I sure picked a good day for this let me look at the temperature it's nice and cool and breezy uh, it says it's like 79 degrees, which is amazingly nice, and the humidity is down. It's a nice day to be doing this. Well, I'll get back with you later. It's boiling now, gang. While I was waiting for it to start boiling, I gave uh, two sledgehammers and three axes. The handle's got a coat of that uh, pine tar and linseed oil, and they're setting out here to cure. I kind of like that finish. It makes the wood look really nice and protects it, and it gives you kind of a grippy... It's not so slippery in your hands, like the old varnish was. One of those axes, I think it's the one clear to the right. My father-in-law's parents bought that one for him for his graduation present from high school. And he'd be, if he was still alive, he'd be in his 90s. Uh, probably about 96 or 97. So that axe has been around a while. And the other two, one of them I bought new years ago, and the other one I got at a garage sale. I just can't walk past the good axe when it's being sold for next to nothing at a garage sale. I got one in the shop that I got to put a new handle on. It's a Stanley axe, and I got it's got a price tag of five dollars on it. But the handle kind of 
rotted out or something. I don't know. It's kind of it's just loose, and I I don't like the way it looks. So I'm gonna put a new handle on it. There you go. Back to the beats.